Welcome to another episode of A-List Classics, where we talk about must-see movies that are considered to be the greatest films of all time. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop. And in this episode, we're boarding our mint-flavored time machine and traveling back to the year 1980 where we're talking about a film that's having its 40th anniversary this year. It's considered to be one of the greatest comedies of all time. Let's talk about Airplane. Ted Stryker, a former fighter pilot and traumatized war vet, has boarded a flight from L.A. to Chicago to try to win back his girlfriend, Elaine, who's a flight attendant on the plane. While Elaine isn't impressed with Ted's attempts, he soon discovers there's some trouble on the plane. After passengers on the flight who had the fish dinner offering start to develop serious cases of food poisoning, all hell starts breaking loose. When the captain breaks out with the illness, the only person who can save the day is Ted. Will he be able to overcome his anxieties and be able to land the plane safely? Airplane is a spectacularly hilarious comedy. It's a parody of the disaster movie genre, but most notably the 1957 film Zero Hour. And because both films were owned by Paramount Pictures, it follows its plot, shares the same main characters, and uses the screenplay almost verbatim. Airplane also spoofs a number of other popular films throughout, such as Airport 95 and others from uh, the Airport series, From Here to Eternity, Saturday Night Fever, and even Jaws. It's funny enough, it's become one of the most famous disaster movies set on a plane in its own right. The film is written and directed by Jim Abrams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker, a team of which would go on to write and direct many other parody movies. Most notably, David's film, The Naked Gun, from the files of Police Squad, which reunited the team with star Leslie Nielsen. Airplane was released in theaters on June 27, 1980 in Toronto and Buffalo, and then expanded to a wide release in the United States and Canada on July 2, 1980, and was a hit with audiences, as well as a smash with critics, making it one of 1980's highest grossing and best reviewed films. While comedy is very subjective, I feel like there's something here for everyone to at least have a few good laughs throughout the runtime. It's packed with so many different kinds of comedy, mostly known for its witty, surreal humor, but also a ton of wordplay, puns, one-liners, sight gags, and even slapstick, and it's all very funny. The gags are very quick and fly by at a breakneck pace with a handful a minute. All of the laughs are silly, sometimes even stupid, from the voiceovers at the airport entrance, from a plane accidentally crashing through an airport building, or the captain literally fighting his way through a line of loiters. It's all pretty hilarious stuff. It also helps that all of the actors play everything straight. Many audience members could find the jokes to be offensive as they're not exactly politically correct and would probably have a hard time landing a PG rating these days, but the film does go out of its way to make fun of almost everyone. The film also showcases many cliches used in the disaster genre, but turns them into jokes. There's also so many great lines in the film that are still quoted today, including Don't Call Me Shirley, Have You Ever Seen a Grown Man Naked, and Excuse Me, Stortus, I Speak Jive. Through the film, there's also a good amount of flashbacks that show how the main characters met and a look at their relationship in happier days. The cast stars Robert Hayes as Ted Stryker, the former pilot now taxi driver who's dealing with anxiety and a reoccurring drinking problem, Julie Haggerty as Elaine Dickinson, Ted's wartime girlfriend who's now a flight attendant he's trying to win back. Leslie Nielsen as Dr. Rummick, the doc that happens to be on board and helps when the case of food poisoning breaks out. Peter Graves as Clarence Over, the captain of the plane. Robert Stack as Rex Kramer, Stryker's commanding officer in the war. And Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as Roger Murdoch, the co-pilot who a kid believes to be Kareem. 
In 2010, the film was selected for preservation in the United States National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. Airplane is the film that will make you laugh no matter how many times you watch it and is one of the funniest comedies ever made. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another episode of A-List Classics very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like you on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Bayless. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.